Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm with the cast of Redeeming Love. Let's take a first look. I told your mother I could take good care of you. I love you more than anyone in this whole wide world. Her mom is dead. She'll be better off here. No, she won't. What's her name? You can call her whatever you want. You'll be my little angel from now on. Angel, how did you end up in this place? She doesn't talk about her past. You got any big plans? Plans? She can't keep me here. You forget where I found you, Missy. I made you a princess. Feel the power, Angel. The only girls who leave here are too old, too sick to work, or dead. I'm gonna kill you. Abigail, I wanted to start with you and I wanted to tell you a big congrats because studio lead, you know, theatrical release. So how does it feel? Are you nervous? Are you excited that it's coming out? All of the above. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of petrified. It's like interesting. You know, you do the, you do the movie, you, you film the movie and I don't know, I just, I forget that it's actually going to go out there to, to the world for people to see. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, uh, it feels very surreal. She's amazing in the film. So She you is, know. yes, you, you're great. I'm really excited to have everyone watch it because she's fantastic in this film. Aww. Well, Nina, I've been dying to talk with you and I just gotta say, I would do anything for love. <laughs> <laughs> so for you, love seems to kind of be a recurring theme lately, like in, you know, in November, December, and now January. And mm -hmm. in this, you know, I'm familiar with your work, you know, big fan of the Vampire Diaries. This okay. time around, though, I've seen you in a role that I don't normally see you in. You play a mom. And of course, in this in this movie for that time period, that makes sense. So how was it kind of being a mom? <laughs> Actually, it's funny you say that because my very, very first job on Degrassi, I was a teen mom. So it's actually not that surprising. I've, I've sort of dabbled in motherhood for the last 10 to 15 years, which is really strange <laughs> when you Dabbled think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but but yeah, and it was really fun. And Livy, who plays my daughter and the younger version of Abby, she's so talented and so sweet. So it was yeah. very easy to play her mother. And um, the scenes were challenging, of course, because of the material, but, um, but I thought it went really well and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The movie is based on a book, so I don't know for your process if you get a chance to like read the book beforehand, during, or you just like say, hey, the character's on the page, that's what I'm going with. I usually don't because I don't want to uh, color anything. I just would like to go into a pro usually I go into a project with my own ideas of how I want to create the character. So I purposely did. I, I, I was not familiar with the book before and I purposely didn't read it um, for that reason. In my case, the character was literally not on the page. Um, so we kind of dressed him up a little bit, made him Irish and, and ran with it. How was doing that, the Irish accent? Does it come easy or you're, I don't know if you have to like go watch stuff or you like work with somebody on it. Or you're just like, hey man, I just, it rolls. It just comes off my tongue. The way they speak is very lyrical. The way they talk, the Irish. And I thought, you know, he's not very charming, this guy. So I made him Irish. And I think it did, you know, Irish people are such great storytellers and they sound, the way they speak is so musical. I, as an actor, I want to do as much research as I can. So I, I did study, I, I read the book, I got a good overview of it. And then I also like to kind of combine the script with, you know, elements from the book because, you know, there are fans that, you know, have loved this book for, for years. So I want to do them justice and do Angel justice in their eyes. So. Yeah, I, I like to kind of, I guess, combine both and hope for the best. <laughs> I think it's amazing when, when there's source material uh, in addition to mm. the script. I mean, the script is the Bible because that's what you're shooting, but having that extra backstory when the characters and, and more depth to pull from is always extremely helpful for sure. Also adds more pressure because like Abby said, you want to do it justice for the people who have loved it for so long, but, but it only helps to have, to have more insight into who you're playing. 
And then Abby, for you, you know, like you've been a part of like, you know, Sabrina and like other shows where you kind of like put on a lot of the costumes. It's like, how is it like putting on the period piece, like all these like different outfits at times, like you're in a bustier at times you're going to be in like big old baggy prairie woman dress. Other times I'm naked. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, yeah. it's no, I love it. I mean, the, I love costumes. I've always loved costumes since I was a kid. So, I mean, it just helps with the character. I, I love playing roles where you get to have elaborate costumes because I feel like, yeah, it just it just adds to the to the the character that you're playing. I mean, it was so fun. I got to wear a lot of um, yeah, corsets and or corsets. I don't know how you say that, but yeah, I got to. <laughs> Couldn't really breathe in them, so that was right. interesting. Um, yeah, all of the all of the costumes were great. The movie is Redeeming Love. You can find it in theaters now. He deserves a decent girl, not you. Did you think I couldn't find you? You have to stop thinking that I'm gonna be something that I'm not. That way is home. Your choice.